Let us see how to write a Java program, how to compile and execute. So I'll write the first program in Java. For writing a Java program, you can use any editor like Notepad or Edit Plus. I'll be using Edit Plus. What to write, how to write, I'll show you. Already I have written the program here. Let us study the program and also we will know why we write public static void main. Very first thing, this program should be saved as first.java file. So you can type this program in any editor like Edit Plus or Notepad. Save this as first.java in some folder on your disk. Let us study the program. The first and the foremost thing is the class name that should match with the program name. It should be same. It's not mandatory. It's a practice. Can I use any other name? Yes. If you want, you can use any other name also. I'll explain you in this video only. Next, inside this class, I should have the starting point of my program, the starting point of execution. So always, if you know from C, C++, if you are coming, then you should know that main is the method from where the program starts. So we have main method. So in C, C++, we write void main or int main. So here you are using void main. In C, C++, we don't write main method inside the classes, but in Java, as it is object oriented to show that it is object oriented we are writing it inside the class so and where you should write on this method actually you can write it in any class and that class become the starting point of a execution of a program so main method we kept it here then why it is a static why it is static it is a static so that you can call this method without creating the object of a class the methods or the member functions of a class can be called after creating an object. But static members, you don't have to create an object. So do we call main method? No. JVM will call the main method. So JVM can directly call it without creating an object. That's why we made it as static. And public means a method when you want it to be accessible outside the class, then it can be declared as public. If you make it private, or any other thing, then you cannot access it outside the class. So that is the reason we made it public so that it can be accessed anywhere. So to complete that formality, we have to write public also, static also, and void and main. Whereas in C, C++, just we start with main and even this is not a formality. If you leave it, it will take it as integer. So this is optional. Writing this one is optional. But here in Java compiler, you must write all these things. Then you know, well, this is a simple program. It will, if you compile and execute, it will print hello. Then I'll explain you the other parts of a program. Let us see how to compile and execute. So for that, see on a C prompt, whatever your folder may be inside that folder, you can say Java C first dot Java. Then this will give a file called first dot class. This is a bytecode. Now, when you say Java, it means you want to run the program. So for that, we have to just mention the class name. Don't have to write any extension. This is the method of compiling. This is the method of execution. So I'll show you what all happens in this one. See, when you compile, you get a class called first.class. If I don't give this name, if I give some other name, let us say if I write a demo, is it possible? Program name is first only. But class name is a demo. Yes, you can give. Then what if I, when you compile, what you will get? You will get demo.class. Then while running, I don't have to say first, I should say demo. So that's it. So it's a practice that we give the same name. Otherwise, you can give any other name. But remember, whatever the class name you have given, when you compile, you will get that class file. You will not get first.class. You will get demo.class because the class inside this is demo. So actually, compiler will create a file for a class inside the program. For execution, you have to say Java demo. But one more important thing. Let us finish everything about this file name. In before the class, if you are writing public, then 
you cannot give any other name you must give first only you cannot use any other name it means you are making a class as public so it will be visible everywhere in any java program anybody can use it that is the meaning so if you make class as public then the file name should also be same this is very important so let me quickly repeat what is the program name class name can be same otherwise you can give another name also but if it is a public class is declared as public then you must give same name as program name now I explain what does it mean by string args what is this see here right on the c prompt if you type notepad and hit enter it will open notepad if you say notepad my dot txt it will open a file my dot txt if it is present in your folder if it is not present it will create a new file with my dot txt name and open it so what is this see at the command prompt we have given notepad file name and we are giving this argument to the program so this argument is called as or parameter that parameter or argument is called as command line argument so the arguments which are given along with the program name are called as command line arguments so here java first can i write something here yes you can write anything here you can write this or can i write any number yes you can write anything so you can write any command line arguments and these arguments will be taken in this one string so command line argument will study in a separate video so command line argument is it only in java no this was there in c c plus plus it's a part of every programming language but in c c plus plus we never write anything here inside brackets but it's optional if you want you can write something and take the command line arguments but in java whether you use or don't use you must write down so this is called as a signature of a method signature of a method or signature of a function actually in java we call them as methods or header of a function so main method must look exactly like this if it is a chain then it is not a valid main method though you can write main method different from this one but it will not be the one starting point of execution of program then how jvm will use this let me show you see when you say java first here java first then jvm will call a method first dot main by passing the command line argument this is what jvm will do when you say first dot java it will call dot main method so is it possible yes the method is static it is possible and it's public it's possible to call that method if any arguments it will pass them so without creating an object of this class first jvm will directly call the method so which method the method which is having same signature if the different method jvm cannot recognize that method that is the reason just like a formality we write this lengthy statement for every java main method that's all the system dot out dot print ln is used for printing this is a standard thing again what is system and out and everything we will be learning in coming videos there are a lot of topics remaining this is just a start i wanted to give you the exact meaning why we write public static void main that's all about the first program i'll show you on pc how to execute compile and execute the program let us see first program of java i'll show you how to write and execute the program see i'll be saving my programs in my java folder this is right now empty i'll type my programs in edit plus open edit plus now inside this when i say new from here you can say new or you can go to file and say new and in new it is giving the options like c plus plus perl or java or anything so i'll select java it has given ready-made code the program that we wanted to write it has already given that code so just i have to give the program name as a first and here the message is hello world everything is ready just save the program see it is already in java my java folder i'll give the program name as first 
dot java i don't have to mention because it's going to save it as dot java file only so save let us go to command prompt if i say dir you can see that there is a file first dot java let us compile this compilation is done let us run this first so it's running so if i show the directory there are two files that is first dot java file the one i have written and first dot class file that is created by compiler i was explaining you that i can give a different name also so i'll give the name as a demo and i will save this one directory now i have a class file see this edit plus will create backup files also because second time i am saving so the old version is in dot back file and the new version that is with the changes it has saved in first dot java let us compile it again if i show directory demo dot class file is created if i run java demo it is running that program so it means we can give a different file name also now one more thing i have shown you i will write the class as public now save it let us compile the program first dot java see the error message first dot java error class demo is a public should be declared in file named demo dot java it should not be in first dot java so it means when you have given the class as public then the file name should also be same like demo means file name should be demo but already we have a file name as first so i will change this name to first only and save and now i will compile first dot java it's compiling and run the program it's running so the things that we discuss i have explained i have shown you here that you can give any name if you are giving public you must give the same name let me show how command line argument works here i will say notepad it will open notepad see the title given here it is untitled notepad i will say notepad my dot txt see it has us no i dot txt is not existing do you want to create it so it means whatever i have given followed by notepad it has taken as a command line argument so can i run my java program first 10 and 20 and 30 yes you can but i am not using these command line arguments if i want i can use this args and use command line arguments that's all end of the session so in the next session we will talk about data types in java